82 sessions we've had on the programme. Or you can go to our Facebook page, which is live from the Royal. King Dave is up here filming it tonight. Oh, standing up on furniture and everything and getting it all in. And uh, it'll be up on the Facebook page or on YouTube. Uh, right, where can they check your music out, actually, if people are listening to this and want to find out more about you guys? Um, on MySpace. Yeah. Or is it MyFace? I'm not sure. Some <laughs> <laughs> stuff on MySpace. Yeah. Without the bum note. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a Facebook site. We've got a Facebook site. Yeah. It hasn't got any music on it. Right. Yeah. 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 We're not very well organised in terms of PR yeah. and stuff. Yeah. We're on YouTube as well, actually. Are we on YouTube as well? Yeah. 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 That's the uh, clips from Hereford Beer Festival. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, so we'll do that. Uh, right, well, what are your influences, you guys, then? <laughs> Who wants to start with this one? Bluegrass. Yeah. In the Bluegrass band together. Yeah. Irish music, the Pogues, yeah, yeah, uh, Dubliners, uh, Great Big Sea. It's one of my favourite bands. Right, Canadian band. Yeah. Uh, Anything that's easy to play. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're on five chords, then we're struggling. Well, this band has been specifically constructed to be a kind of fun Irish yeah. pub band. Yeah. So we all have different musical traditions within the band, but for this operation, we. We play the Irish stuff, yeah, or yeah. Irish soundings. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I take, I assume you'd be busy on St Patrick's Day. We have been in the last, yes, yes. Yeah. More than one gig. Oh. Um, in a well, day. Well, going back to that Cheltenham gig, wasn't it? No, that was St Patrick's Day. Yeah. 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 It was the same day as the Gold Cup as well. So. Yeah, it was, it was twice the same as the Gold Cup. Yeah. Double, yeah. double whammy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wonderful. Um, but, so yeah, I mean. Uh, uh, as Neil was saying, we, we've all got different sort of traditions within within the band. I mean, uh, Lorne was a very highly accomplished uh, classical musician, for example. Um, um, I'm not. Neither is uh, <laughs> the rest of us. But uh, no, I mean, I, I mean, I, I came into this uh, from the rock side of things, really, right. uh, and uh, I just started to get into more um, uh, more acoustic sort of music as I got older. Really. And uh, yeah, so sort of from about the age of forty onwards, I was playing with acoustic band. I started playing with Mickey yeah. in a band in Worcester called uh, uh, I've Just Seen Roger. Right. Just uh, yeah. Rogers. And I played drums then. Really? Uh, I believe I was in that band. Hey, well, you were in that band as well? I remember me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite incestuous Worcester musicians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's played with somebody at some point. Really. We all played with each other. Yeah, in the yeah. nicest possible way. <laughs> yeah, because no, Neil was in here earlier. One of you's played with yeah. Neil, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. I yeah. played bass in Flat World for yeah. a while. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we've done we've done a couple of gigs with Flatwood, haven't we? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah we, we get on really well. With yeah, they recommended people. you actually. Did uh, they? Recommend? Yeah, we played at the Worcester yeah. Festival. Festival with one. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. definitely. Yeah. 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 Three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Neil the Beer then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're a great band. We we really love them. Yeah. Uh, uh, fantastic arrangements and uh, the Eastern European stuff. It, it's it's they make it look easy, but it isn't. No. And it's no. really really complicated. Uh, yeah, hats off to them. Is there anything you guys like to do a bit different? Like to incorporate in your act? We speed up a lot of Dubliners <laughs> tunes. <laughs> like the Dubliners on screen, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, We've got our Sunshine Reggae. Oh, yeah, Sunshine Reggae. Yeah. 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 yeah, I get my effects uh, pedal out. And oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, uh, we uh, do dub style. Yeah. <laughs> Dub style reg, uh, dub style Irish reggae, so it's reggae isn't it? Yeah. Um, and that's it, the, the more visual numbers as well, which involve the. Oh, we have the uh, the, the Craggy Island two step, which you have seen with the uh, yes. where we use the uh, the cards with yeah. the, the words which we, we, we sadly can't play tonight. Yeah, yeah a, a fellow presenter I dragged him along to that, and he he had uh, far too many, and he tried to attempt it, and he collapsed. <laughs> so I left him somewhere in Westfest coming free in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that one is our tribute to Father Jack Hackett. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, people keep pinching them as well. So we yeah, I think he just pinched them one of his hands, if I remember right. <laughs> For, fortunately, yeah, some of us were at working places where they got lots of photocopies. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing about being a performer then? <laughs> free beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's an easy one. You've often got more room than the, than the punters watching you. Yeah. So they're all crunched up like that, and yeah. you're actually with a yeah. bit of room to spend. I think, I think on a serious note, you get yeah. to go places yeah. that you wouldn't normally get yeah, to go. That's right. yeah. Yeah. I mean, the music has taken us to all kinds of strange... And we've made lots of good friends. Yeah. 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 Interesting situations. Yeah. And as Mick says, we made a lot of good friends. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, a bit of response to the world. Yeah. So. It's just the best fun you can have. Really. It is the best fun you can have yeah. with your trousers on. With your trousers on. <laughs> or even with your trousers off sometimes. Yeah, the swimming's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> is there a bad thing about being a performer? Uh, it can be. I mean, sober if you're driving. I mean, not necessarily mm -hmm. with this band, but I've played in bands where we've been uh, booked for doing weddings, for example. Now, weddings mm -hmm. uh, can be a complete pain because you, steady, turn, you get steady. Some... We, we love weddings, steady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we love doing them. We them. But, <laughs> but a, a typical sort of wedding scenario would be that you've been asked to turn up and get ready to play at 8.30. Now, that's mm -hmm. about the time when you arrive there that the be best man's speech has just started, and then there's the yeah. bar with the bride. So you eventually hit stage at about 10 o'clock, uh, so you're playing for about an hour, and that's when the disco is about to start up, so uh, you, uh, you kind of lose out there a bit. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I we mean, get Jeff, fed. We get fed, yeah. yeah. Uh, there, is, there is always a plus side to every situation. Um, <laughs> Out outdoor gigs in the winter can be... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, imagine so. we played a pub in Hereford uh, this winter uh, at uh, what, this, Spread, Eagle. Spread Eagle, wasn't it? Yeah. And for some reason somebody decided it was a good idea to have an outside gig in October. Lovely. Uh, I don't know if you remember, it was like really, really cold. Yeah. And, uh, so. Uh, yeah, that wasn't too pleasant, and poor Lorna's fingers were just about to turn blue. I think. So that's yeah. weddings and the spread eagle yeah. crossed the yeah. 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 Our future bookings. <laughs> Anybody else want to slide off or it? No. <laughs> now we've, we've been back to the uh, spread eagle since, uh, and again it was an outdoor gig, and again it was freezing, but uh, mm -hmm. no, we, we always had a good time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you rehearse at all, or are you like one of those bands that just turn up and play? Well, we used to. We used to. Yeah. We used yeah. to yeah. But I mean, uh, because I, I live up in uh, South Shropshire now, yeah. it's a bit difficult for me to get yeah. over and play. But yeah. um, anything that the, the, the other four get together, and we sort of like, yeah. we'll have a go at, at uh, Sound Check, for yeah. example, and uh, we'll yeah. take it from there. Um, we're, we're just working on some new, uh, new set of tunes at the moment, which we've, we've tried live a couple of times now. Yeah. So, uh, uh, But generally, yeah, we. we We've been discussing for years that we really must get some new material, but yeah. uh, tends to, what tends to happen is we'll get really enthusiastic for about two or three weeks, yeah. get solid rehearsals in, and then nothing will happen for six months and we forget it all, so we're back to square one. <laughs> but, uh, so you are the world's most disorganised band. We are, are indeed. We yeah, have yeah. yeah. journeymen up here yeah. who, who said they were, but I'm going to give that to you. To say, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, journeyman. I'll accept that with pride. <laughs> Has one person helped you more than anybody else in your music career? One person you could sing to it? No. Well, the old dad was pretty uh, instrumental, wasn't he? Yeah, he never played, he sang, but he never yeah. well, he, he, he introduced bullied me into listening. So yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. His vast record collection. I mean, you'd come downstairs and there'd be Ralph McTell crashed out on the sofa with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I suppose, I yeah, I have lots of people, um, uh, there was a guy I used to play uh, guitar with at school, uh, and uh, a guy called Harry Skinner, and uh, he really actually got me into the idea of actually being able to play live, we were about 14 I suppose, 14 or 15, and um, he, uh, he went on to front uh, a really good blues band called The Producers, who were quite famous for uh, a while. And uh, I think he's he now lectures down in, in Bournemouth and Poole. He, he, he was definitely one of my sort of, uh, influences, definitely. Again, mm. Anybody else? No, no, <laughs> well, nobody. Nobody no, in so was your uncle Alan? I didn't need anyone else. Ah, my, my uncle Alan. Yeah. My, my, how could I possibly forget my uncle Alan? Yeah. Uh, Uncle Alan came to my house with a guitar when I was about 10, I think. And he's a very accomplished musician. Yeah. He uh, was uh, playing in a band called the Sons of Erin in Canada in the uh, 70s. And was making records at a time when you had to be reasonably professional to have a record made because it cost a lot of dosh. Mm. And he appeared on Canadian TV and so on. I followed his career and I have to, I suppose, have to thank him really a, a lot. Thanks for reminding me. Sorry, Al. <laughs> right, time for another one? Yeah. I love the way the windows are steaming up in there. It's like in the sauna in here tonight, I tell you. Yeah, it really is, yeah. Poor <laughs> Dave's lost about three pounds over in the corner there. Yeah, uh, unfortunately this one's going to make it even steamer. It's, uh, it's a bit energetic. This one. Right, OK. Uh, another round. Uh, well, this one's called... Uh, donkey uh, This is our version of Donkey Riding, which is the old... You'll probably remember this from school. Thank mm -hmm. you. 